chipmunks are coming for me because I have food. I've been having to like literally swat them off like flies. <laughs> everyone it is our last day here in Leadville and we're getting ready to head to Estes Park um, we have a big day ahead of us so uh, stay tuned we're leaving our last tiny homestay here in Leadville it's pretty cute this is the whole room you can see the whole thing right now bathroom bedroom living room right, so we just drove from Frisco here to Rocky Mountain National Park we're standing in front of the Never Summer Mountains. This park isn't that crowded right now, which is nice, but there is a bit of a haze coming from a fire just across the way. This is our second time in Rocky Mountain in the last couple months, and if you haven't seen that first video, go check it out. But today we are just driving along Trail Ridge to get to Estes Park where we're staying tonight. And our first stop is the Fairview Curve, and like he said, it has a great view of the Never Summer Mountains. You are 10,120 feet up in elevation right now. But this is still one of our favorite parks and we hope this video shows you why. Yes. And so as you guys can see right behind me, the blue right here and then the smoke right here. Oh, and look at the sign. Oh my God, look at to capture it. That's, that's crazy. Mm. So I don't know which fire is causing this. I think it's starting to get kind of towards the park. It's I think. coloring behind us is crazy looking. Yeah, Honestly. so you guys can see there's a little like a division if you put it between Ashley and I right now. You, you have the smoke and then just the sky. It's wild. It doesn't uh, smell. I can't smell. It doesn't smell that yeah, bad, I can't but smell any you fire never right know now. what kind of air you're breathing in, so you have to be careful. in at the Trail Ridge store and cafe. I got some hot chocolate and I tried it inside. I was like, Ashley, oh my God, this is some really good hot chocolate. She's like, wait till you get outside. I was like, no, like you have to try it now. Okay. So I tried it and oh my gosh, this tastes like like liquid chocolate. Like oh. it just melted a bar of chocolate. It's so good. I was just not expecting that from like a national park gift shop, you know? But up here is also the Alpine Visitor Center, which we're gonna pop into as well. And it just has some really good views. Like you're right up on a mountain, so. Yeah. So a fun fact about the Alpine Visitor Center is it is actually the highest one in elevation in all of the national park system. So this is the Forest Curve Overlook, I believe. This is just a really good little pull off to take. It's a really easy walk from the road to get up there and get a beautiful view of the range. And it's dog friendly. And I will keep on holding my head high, even if the sky is falling down. So right behind me, we have this really weird phenomenon going right now. The clouds are over covering the sun. You can't really see the sun, but the sun is shining down on the mountain. And so it's like dark where we're standing, but it's like light on the mountain. Honestly, pretty breathtaking. You couldn't have this happen unless it was smoking outside and the clouds were covering and the sun was peeking out. This pull out also gives you a really cool view of Long's Peak, which is that tall one right there. You can actually climb that one, not easily, but it's an established trail here in Rocky Mountain. getting ready to start our hike. We are hiking Nymph Lake first. We're doing Nymph Lake, Dream Lake, and Emerald Lake, but we got a spot, uh, parking spot at Bear Lake, and our tip for you on that is, especially if it's in the afternoon, is even if it says the parking lots are full, there's gonna be people leaving. So go ahead and come up here and try and get a spot. That way you don't have to use the shuttle, and that way you're kinda on your own time still. So the first lake will be Nymph Lake, and it's about a half a mile from the Bear Lake Trailhead, and we're almost there, actually. This is Nymph Lake. It's just a little tiny lake. You could pull off and have a snack or something, but we're gonna keep going. So we're headed to Dream Lake from here and it's another half a mile. So we're gonna just keep going. Cause yeah, it is pretty smoky today. So we don't wanna be out here too long breathing in the smoke. It 
so we had our first ever encounter with a, an actual subscriber. So we could see our stuff. That's crazy. Yeah. So I was like, oh, we, we, I love your stuff. And I was like, oh my God. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much that means. So thank you so much. Like, and I'm wearing the exact same outfit I wore in the last Rocky Mountain video. So maybe that helps a little bit. Yeah. If you watch that video. <laughs> so just barely like half a mile up from um, Nymph Lake, you can see the uh, the overview of the lake. It's actually really pretty. Seems like time as a wave passing by leave a mark in our minds to turn the memory. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. So a short half mile later, we are at Dream Lake and it is absolutely beautiful. So like Ashley was saying, we just arrived here at Dream Lake and this has been a really easy hike with just a nice little lake in the valley of the mountains. It's really pretty, it's really calm. There's not a lot of people here right now either, which is nice, so you can kind of enjoy it. But man, look at that. Look at that lake. Ooh. So it's like little views like right behind me that just makes this hike so pretty. I don't know. It's such a like easy hike for such a gratifying little view. Hey, I heard you want to leave this place where we grew up. So we're almost to Emerald Lake, which is the last lake on the out and back. Remember you and I would always find somewhere to hide when we were kids. So Alright, so we just arrived here at Emerald Lake. Pretty sweet. A lot of critters running around, literally. Chipmunks are coming for me because I have food. I've been having to like literally swat them off like flies. <laughs> you can tell it's the most popular hike here because of how crowded it is. We haven't been on a hike this crowded ever. So this trail, the Nymph Lake, Dream Lake, Emerald Lake, starts and ends at the Bear Lake Trail. So Bear Lake, if you take a right when you get to the trailhead, is about 200 feet from the trailhead. And so we're just gonna do a quick little walk around part of it. It's super flat, very easy. It's actually wheelchair accessible. River's gonna cry when you're gone. I think Rocky Mountain for us will always feel like our home park. Yeah. Just because we can come here so easily. And even after being to all those other parks, they're all so beautiful and they all have things that are make them special. But it's just Rocky Mountain, I think, has that special place in our hearts. Yeah, for sure. That sound. <laughs> it's just very familiar. It's just easy to venture around and we're just so familiar with how the park is. And Maybe one day we'll do Long's Peak. Uh, I think for sure. I think we will. I was hoping you would stay, but I've always known you would go find your own way I still see when we climbed up in those trees 12 years So we thought we'd bring you along for dinner tonight. We are at this place called Smoke and Dave's here in Estes. It's really good barbecue from what we can see. We may have gotten a feast. It's called the Not So Teeny Wahini. And we got uh, ribs, chicken, brisket, pork, potatoes, corn bake, coleslaw, green beans, and cornbread. So Christian thinks that we're gonna be able to finish it all. About halfway through. Food is really good. Can definitely concur that. I don't really know what else to say, but it's really good. The ribs are really good. The chicken's really good. The green beans are also really good. I think he's already in a bit of a food coma and we're not even halfway through. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. 